Hi everyone! In today's tutorial I'm going to show you a very fun background technique using just a few simple tools, three ink pads, and three sponge daubers. And we are going to make abstract roses. To begin with, I just ink up a sponge dauber with Daffodil Delight, tap it off once on my mat, that kind of helps you eliminate that sponge texture when you're using these little daubers, so make that a habit. And I'm going to use very light pressure throughout this technique. Next up is Strawberry Slush, and I'm going to again tap a little extra ink off on my mat before I start and then very, very lightly make circular sponging motions to make a little rose. Now I just go around this center yellow that I put down before, and a light touch is your friend here. You want a real smooth, blurry almost image for your flower. I was actually inspired by Donna Mikasa, who did the roses like this with alcohol markers and I thought they would be beautiful sponged. Now if you use the edge of your dauber it has a little more ink on it and you can get a little line which is what I'm doing here to sort of give a hint of rose petals inside the roses just to add a little bit of detail since these are so blurry and fuzzy. And then I'll use a sponge dauber and some mossy meadow ink to make a half circle one way with the edge of the sponge dauber and then a half circle the other way to form sort of a leaf shape. And These colors are so harmonious together I really like them. And We just want to give the illusion that there is a little bit of foliage in addition to the flowers and what I love about this technique is the softness of this image is so perfect to pair with a big, bold, crisp greeting, which is what I'm using this for, and you will see in my finished sample. And you can crank out, I'm not that fast, you're probably faster than me, but you can crank out a lot of clean and simple one layer cards with this beautiful technique. It would be fun to just sit down and do a stack of thank you cards, or it would also make a beautiful sympathy card perhaps even for a wedding. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous technique and shows off any of your greeting stamps so, so well when you're finished. Thank you so much for watching.